The golden era of the cinema camera is over, and something far more dangerous is about to take its place. For the last three years, the Sony FX3 has been the undisputed king of the solo filmmaker's kit. It's been used to shoot Hollywood blockbusters, high-end commercials, and the world's biggest YouTube channels. But the industry is changing. The demands for higher resolution, faster workflows, and artificial intelligence are no longer just wants. They are requirements. And Sony has been listening in the shadows. Today, we are peeling back the curtain on the most anticipated release in the history of the Alpha line. This is everything we know about the Sony FX3 Mark II. If you think this is just a minor spec bump, you haven't been paying attention. Sony is about to do something they've never done before. They are about to blur the line between the compact mirrorless form factor and the high-end Venice Cinema line so effectively that the competition might not survive the year. Why is the internet buzzing about a global shutter? Why are top-tier cinematographers suddenly worried about their high-priced rigs? Stay with me, because what we're about to uncover regarding the new sensor technology will change the way you think about light and motion forever. Let's talk about the heart of the revolution, the sensor. The original FX3 was a low-light king with its 12-megapixel beast, but the FX3 too is rumored to be stepping into a new dimension. We are looking at a brand new back-illuminated stack CMOS sensor. But here is the kicker that everyone is debating, the resolution. While some stay loyal to 12 megapixels for that legendary low-light performance, internal leaks suggest Sony might be jumping to a 15 or even 19 megapixel sensor to allow for a true, uncropped 4K DCI and potentially 6K oversampling. This isn't just about more pixels, it's about more data, more dynamic range, and more texture in your image. Imagine having the low-light capabilities of an FX3 with the sharpness and cropping flexibility of an A7RV. That is the holy grail of cinematography. But wait, there's a secret weapon everyone is whispering about. The global shutter. After the release of the A9 III, the filmmaking world went silent. Could Sony actually put a global shutter into the FX3 II? If they do, it's game over. No more rolling shutter artifacts. No more wobbly lines when you're filming fast-moving cars or handheld action sequences. Every single frame would be perfectly sharp, perfectly aligned, and perfectly professional, even if they stick to a traditional rolling shutter. The readout speeds on the new XP-driven architecture are expected to be so fast that rolling shutter becomes a ghost of the past. Now let's talk about the brain of the camera, the AI processing unit. This is where the FX3 II will separate the amateurs from the pros. Sony's new AI-driven autofocus isn't just about following a face, it's about predicting movement. It can recognize human poses, animals, birds, insects, and vehicles with frightening accuracy. For the solo operator shooting a documentary in the wild or a fast-paced wedding, this means your hit rate goes from 90% to 100%. But the AI doesn't stop at focus. We are hearing rumors of auto-framing technology built directly into the cinema line. Imagine the camera digitally panning and scanning within a 6K sensor to keep your subject perfectly composed while you're busy managing the lighting. It's like having a virtual camera assistant built into your hand grip. But we need to address the physical build. The FX.